Hello everyone and thank you for watching. Today I would like to try and explain to you how the alchemy in the game works. It's a very complex system that I'm not sure has been implemented in any other game. As you can see there are different potions which require different type of brewing. As you may know we have three diff major ways of brewing a potion. We have the cooking, we have the simmering and then we have the boiling. It, later in the video I will try to show you all three types of brewing and followed by a video of making the, a potion that requires you to either brew, uh, to either, sorry, boil, simmer or cook. So let's go ahead and start with cooking. So first of all, in order to cook a potion as it's in the game, you just add the ingredient, uh, or should I say, add the base. It's either water, wine, oil, or, or or spirits. And you just need to pull the bells once. Then you turn the hourglass, or sand glass in game, and you just wait. As you can see, the steam disappeared, and that's cooking. That's cooking for one turn. So let's see a potion here. As you can see, I need uh, nettles and two marigold and water. So f first and most important, you always add the base of the potion in the cauldron. So right now we need water. Without adding that, you cannot proceed in making the potion. As you can see now, we take the netto and we put it in the cauldron. So now we need to cook it for one turn. So as I said, pull the bellows one, turn the hourglass and you are good to go. So all we have to do now is wait. So now that is done. The cooking has been finished, so we proceed with the next part of the recipe. And this one is an easy one. You just take two handfuls of marigold, put it in the cauldron, and you're ready to extract the potion. Next we'll talk about simmering. Simmering is the temperature you achieve right before you boil something, right before you reach the boiling point. In the game, it's achieved by, as you're about to see now, you need to pull the bellows twice. If you pull, the, pull it a third time, it will start boiling. So now we turn the hourglass. I'm not sure if you're able to see, but uh, there is a lot of steam coming out of the cauldron. That means that we're, we've reached that perfect point of simmering. There you have it. The sand glass ran out, so we simmered for one turn. So now I'm going to show you how to brew a potion with simmering. As you can see, we need to grind the chamomile. In order to do that, you take, depending on the recipe, the certain amount of handfuls fulls of the particular herb and you're going to put it into the mortar as you are about to see now. So let's see, one handful, put it in the mortar, second handful again and then you take the pesto or pesto I'm sorry or you just click on the mortar and you grind it. So now we put it in the cauldron, we take a handful of mint, we also put it in the cauldron, and now we simmer. One pull, a second pull, and then you turn the sand glass. Now 
Now all that is left is for you to wait until the sun run out, runs out and you can take a file and then finish the potion. There you have it. We have su successfully brewed a digestion po potion. The next part I'm going to talk about is boiling. So first let's see again how to reach boiling point and how to time it so that it's almost perfectly one third of the hourglass. So in order to do that we grab the bellows and you need to pull four times. Now we turn the hourglass and that will be roughly one turn of the hourglass. As you can see the sun runs out and the concoction is still brewing a little but these two to three seconds are not fatal. So now let's see the Buck's Blood Potion which requires you to boil. As you can see we can again we again need to grind a particular herb we need to add a second herb and then we need to boil for one turn so again we add the base we take the comfrey put it in the cauldron and then we grind again Timing is vital when you prepare potions because if you overboil it or underboil it, it will spoil the potion and you will mo mo most certainly get an unknown potion. So now we take the bellows one, two, three, four pulls of the bellows and you turn the hourglass. So now we wait, as you can see the bubbles are growing, so we know that the concoction is brewing, is boiling, sorry. Then we take the last herb, dandelion. We wait a little bit for it to cool off. We add it and then you take the file and finish the potion. And as you can see, this was a complete success. We brewed Buck's Blood Potion. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the double boil. This is when you need to boil the concoction for two turns, two consecutive turns. So in order to achieve that from the start, you need to pull five times. Two, three, four, five. Now we turn the hourglass and we wait. As you can see this will be timed almost perfectly. It's boiling, the sand glass ran out, you turn it again and as you can see the concoction is still boiling. So the sand glass runs out and as you can see the boiling stops. That's how you do double boil. Now we're, I'm going to show you uh, how to brew a potion with the double boil. So we add the base. You add the mint. We have to grind it. And if I'm not mistaken, you have to boil for one turn. And once the turn is over, you need to add the other herb and then boil for two more turns. This is a bit tricky and you're going to see now how it's done. So as I said, one turn, it's four pulls of the bellows. Now you turn the hourglass and we time one turn of boiling. So we take the second herb, 
and as soon as it finishes boiling we add it and since the the potion is now simmering you just need to pull once twice three times to boil two more turns so now we all we have to do is wait You will notice that by the the sand will run out faster than the concoction stops boiling, but that's okay. As I said, few seconds is okay. By few, I mean two to three seconds. If I had put five times the bellows, the potion would be ruined. And there you have it. We brewed the cockerel potion. And the fifth and last part is called distilling. Some potions would require you to distill, which is performed the following way. Once the potion is ready, you take the file, put it under the distiller, pull the bellows twice, and the potion is ready. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video will be of use to some of you, if not all. Thank you.